Okay, we finished off in our last lesson creating that um, second floor and creating a section. We're going to do some cleanup and stuff, but we'll just keep it moving here. So I'm going to go to my second floor and I can see, okay, I've got some walls there and um, they're down below. So you know what? Let's get sneaky. Let's copy and paste the main floor walls up to the second floor. A couple ways of doing that. Um, let's go to our main floor and I'm going to zoom out. And all I'm going to do is use my control button. I'm going to click on here and use my control button. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to take those walls and I'm going to either say control C on the keyboard or hit copy. Okay. Now I'm going to go double click up to the second floor and I'm going to say paste to current view. Boom. Doesn't look like much happened, but if we go to a 3D view, we can see that we've basically copy and pasted the lower floor up to the main floor. Now let's do a tab, hover, tab, click. Okay, hover over it, hover, tab, click. And let's go to there and say, okay, well, that is good. It's going from the second floor up to the roof level minus 250. Now, okay, that might make sense. We have a 250 millimeter concrete roof on top. So it kind of works out okay. Let's go to our south elevation and have a look. Looks pretty good. Okay. Um, now, the roof, I think we'll put a flat roof on here and we're going to put a kind of a gable roof on the garage part over here. Okay. So now let's start to do a little bit of cleanup because we know our brick needs to run right through there. We wouldn't necessarily have a band. Now, we could put kind of a a band around there, but I want my brick to kind of go all the way up. So we need to, to um, modify that. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, you know what? And this is, you know, again, I'm not doing this the most efficient way. I'm going to go hover, tab, click, and I'm going to delete those guys. Sorry, I need to fix these guys first. Let's go back down to our main floor. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, well, Technically, the grid line is the edge of the foundation, and that that's fine. But what I want is I want the either the floor to be set in, or um, you know we're going to need to put some structural or some concrete columns in here anyway. But let's say I'm going to bump my walls out. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my align tool, uh, modify align. And I'm going to say align to here, zoom in, and I'm going to use my tab button, tab, and pick here, click. Okay. And that's it. Do it again. Align to here, tab, 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 click. So I'm moving the walls out with my align tool. Okay. Let's go down to this corner. I'm still in my align tool, aligning to here, tab, tab. Oh, something's not right. Oh, wrong one. This one has to go to here. Tab, click, again. Align to here. Hover, tab, click, done. Okay, might as well do these ones at the same time. Align to here. Tab, click. Okay, see how that lines that up? Align to here. Tab, click. And last but not least, align to there, tab, click, done. Might take you a little bit of practice to get that in. Now let's do our copy and paste. 3D view, click, watch how I'm going to do this. I'm going to use a crossing box. Watch, I'm going to get into 3D view and get kind of sneaky here. I'm going to do a crossing box that goes like this. Okay, notice I grabbed all those walls. It's just in a way of selecting them. Again, copy to clipboard, paste. Ah, this time instead of going up to my second floor, I'm going to say align to selected levels. Different way of doing it. Up to level two, sure. Click out, done. Hover, tab, click. There's my walls going from the second floor up to the roof, minus 10 inches or 250 millimeters. And there we go. So now what we're going to see is that we've got a gap there. Now I'm going to, in our next lesson, we're going to take that brick and pull the brick down so it marries up with the 
top of the main floor exterior walls. Let's do our save as project and we'll call this next one is going to be lesson nine. 